Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Sid Hempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to add Camera Shake to your games in the Blender Game Engine. So if I press P here, you'll notice we have some Camera Shake and our player will spawn in. So in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to add the Camera Shake to your own games for explosions or spawning in or anything else. So first of all, let's go up the top here, New, open up a new blend, uh, Blender Game Engine, GeoSL, animation frame rate of 60. Now what we're going to do here is press Shift D, add a plane, scale it out, and then what we're going to do is give it a new material, let's make it blue, no specular, and then over here choose texture view, right, and then up at zero, and there's our basic setup, so here let's go game logic, so cursor down to the bottom corner and drag upwards, and here, timeline and move it up, frame zero, select the camera here, press I, and insert rotation, and then what we want to do is add an always, add an action, Join the two together, and here, camera action. So that's our basic setup done. Now what we're going to do is go over to our dope sheet, choose action editor, and then make sure we have our camera action selected. So let's scroll back here and choose graph editor, and move it across. So now under here, if we click rotation, you notice we have an X, Y, and Z component. So these are going to be the axes along which our camera will rotate. So if we go into local and we can see the Y is sort of left and right and the X will be up and down. So basically what that means is we just need to focus on X and Y as Z doesn't really matter. So now what I'm going to do is move it across a bit more, move this across and then over here select the plus or press N and then under here we have a modifiers tab. Now first of all I'm going to just select the X by itself and then I'm going to move all the way up here, so scroll out and move up. So you can move around by holding down the scroll wheel and just moving around like this. And you might need to scroll out to find the other axes. Alright, so we want the red one, the X axes. And make sure it's selected, left click, and then here we're going to choose a noise modifier. Now this here is going to add lots and lots of random values. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to limit for how long this goes. As you can see when we scroll out, it just seems to go continuously. So we need to limit this to a set animation time. So to do that, let's move it across and restrict frame range. Now here you have start and end. These are basically the ones you want to focus on. So I'm say going to make mine 40. Now the in and out here is basically how many frames it starts to smooth off the effect. So I'm going to maybe choose close to halfway for this, maybe 25 or even 30, and we only want a few frames at the start. So now what we want to do is we want to change our scale. So if you turn up the scale uh, very high, say 20, you'll notice we only get one big dip at once. So if we go over here, add uh, our ending keyframe, which is frame 40, and press P, you'll notice we just get one big dip. Now, as we turn the scale down, you fit more and more camera shakes in, so more and more waves, I guess, and then that will mean more happen in a shorter period of time, which will sort of give it a more vigorous effect. So if you want lots and lots to happen at the same time, very chaotic, you can turn down the scale to something like two. So I'm gonna set the scale here to around five, and then the strength here, I'm going to turn down to maybe 0.5, roughly. And so now if you press P, we have a nice little camera shake going. Okay, so let's go ahead, maybe add some padding on this side as well, 14, and turn this up a bit more. Now also what you can do is change the other settings here. Offset is basically just changes uh, what sort of camera shake you're getting. So maybe around the start here would be a good idea. The depth here is, I'm guessing, how far it goes. You can just sort of experiment with that. Phase here, um, I guess just sort of smooths it out. Maybe I'll make mine something around there, so it's even. Uh, the strength, again, maybe 0.4. Might seem a bit better. So there we go. And we have some camera shake at the start. Cool, now I might turn down this here back to 10. So it starts earlier, and maybe even, oh, uh, turn it down to around 5. Now again, you can choose offset and get a bit more camera shake in the start. Alright, so there we go, I'm happy with that. 
and so now what we're going to do is if that was all you wanted just simple camera shake like that you could just leave it like that however what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second noise element I'm going to scroll down and here what I'm going to do is choose add and then oh you know, scroll out, you see it's added it up there. Now what we want to do is turn down the strength to something like 0.03 and maybe even 0.02 and you'll notice it sort of adds a little camera shake at the ends. We also want to restrict the frame rate so 40 and let's just make this 35 put the same in there and make this one 6 and what you can actually do is down here for the end we can choose 60 and these sort of little shakes will continue on and sort of smooth out as the effect finishes so here if we select 60 you notice we have our main camera shake and then it will sort of just stutter off at the end there now you notice it's not very noticeable so maybe let's make it 0.05 um, yeah and you sort of notice how it finishes we can do is offset it a bit so it's a bit more obvious and also we can turn up the scale so it happens a little bit more frequently so maybe around 2.7 and you notice it sort of stutters off at the end there again that's only something that you can add if you want to you certainly don't have to if you prefer not to uh, but that's just sort of a key element that I used in mine uh, the phase here might change a little bit as well and add some depth Alright, so I think that should be good. Uh, maybe just mess around with the scale a bit more. Alright, cool. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and go up the top here, choose copy, and then go over to the Y axis, and then choose paste. And so now we'll have the same ones. So now we'll scroll out, and you'll notice we have Y down the bottom here, and then we'll have the same animation. Now obviously we're going to choose offset, so we have some randomness to it and it's not the same and as you can see here we have some camera shake in different directions cool so if you don't like the strength so much and you just want sort of up and down movement rather than side to side you can just use that point two uh, and again if you don't like this you can also remove that as well uh, you can also use subtract if you'd like to so it goes in the opposite direction um, yeah, something of like that should be good. Now, maybe scale here is a little bit much, so let's make it 0.04. And then also, uh, if we select our x axis here, uh, maybe turn down the strength as well. So maybe 0.3 for this one and 0.04 for that one. So there we go, there's some decent looking camera shake. That's about it, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, or share. All of that stuff would be greatly appreciated. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can also do. Uh, you can, for example, use multiply or any of the other options. Basically, the whole animation will be determined by the values here. So if you just keep changing them until you get something you like, that should work out. Now, if your one didn't work out, there should be a finished dot blend down in the description below with this animation. Uh, if you'd like to see how that works instead. Otherwise, if you have any other problems or requests or something, feel free to leave a comment down below as well. But apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next one.